STEM Boys SHL, STEM Vision Club, STEM Vision Project 2023 in Clean Water. Water is one of the most important natural resources needed by human organisms. Water is used for so many activities. Water is being contaminated by human activities. If you take the Ache community for instance, the Ache take their source of water to be green water, tap water, ground running water, deep and shallow well, modern rain water. Rain water. Rain water is being contaminated when smoke from burning and construction and dust from construction of uncompleted roofs get into the atmosphere. Tap water. The Ache is far away from water station. So water is being pumped from water station to the Ache, whereby it passes through long tubes. These tubes are not under proper maintenance, which cause contamination of tap water. Ground running water. Ground running water is being polluted by farmers when they put fertilizers on their soil to improve their crop yield. And when rainwater rain occurs, it drains all these water together with the chemicals into the groundwater, which contaminates it. Deep and shallow well, and also modern drill water, is being contaminated when waste is being when waste dump is being placed in thick pools, are uh, cause leakage and the leachate gets into the upper face which cause contamination of the water. What is the problem? The, um, people in Jachi do not get portable water to drink due to the contaminations and pollutions in their source of water. And what is and uh, why is it a problem? At the end of the day, people, uh, it relates to water borne diseases such as diarrhea and and the rest. Although, and although there are other filtration systems available, they lack the capability to remove wide range of uh, microorganisms in the water. That's why we decided to build this system. This is an intensive domestic water filtration system. We designed this system to be used in homes for domestic water filtration. This system consists of two filtration sections, which are positioned vertically and horizontally, respectively. This system works by when water is poured through the influence and passes through several stages in the vertical section and end up in the effluent being clean and safe to consume. The stages involved in the filtration of the water are sun. The sun goes back suspended particles in the water. Then the water moves into the cultured microorganisms, which do not pose any health risks, but rather eliminate heavy metals present in the water, such as cadmium, zinc, mercury, and copper. The next stage is charcoal, which, which purpose is to remove toxins and order from the water. It works by the two processes of absorption and absorption, where the large surface area of the charcoal is responsible for trapping um, other causing particles in the water. The next stage is gravels. The gravel stage pulls back precipitate or sun-sized particles from moving into the next stage. The rock stage is where bacteria which has escaped through the other stages are being eliminated to prevent further entry into the second filtration system. The second filtration system is an identical variant of the first filtration system but lacks a cultured microorganisms stage. After passing through the second filtration system for additional filtration, the water, which has now become clean, ends up in the heating chamber, which is triggered by this button. This button also injects chlorine into the water to eliminate or to act as a disinfectant. Then after the, heating, after the first heating chamber, the water then moves into the second heating chamber to ensure further heating. After the process, it ends up in the cooling chamber where it can be opened through the tap for use. After passing through the tap, the water has now become safe for human consumption. Now, let's go back to the stages involved in the culture, uh, culture of microorganisms. They are, the, the, the microorganisms involved in this stage are plethora species, 
peninsular species and saccharomyces species. Each of them undergo the same processes, which are one, sterilization of growth medium, two, inoculation, three, incubation, and three, transfer to a larger container. All these microorganisms contribute to eliminate heavy metals from the water or traces of cadmium, zinc, lead, and mercury from the water, which may pose a health risk when it is being consumed. The filtration bottle, which was used to test for suspended particles in the water. This system contains three sections, which are the pressure chamber, the filtration chamber in cooperation with active carbon and, and reverse osmosis. The last chamber is the filtrate container or the residue container. First, water is being poured into the filtration chamber, then being supported by the filtrate container. When water is suspended by the filtration chamber, a form, a form of pressure is applied by the use of syringes. When the, when, the force, when the pressure is applied, the syringe pushes a rubber foam to push the water through the several filtration stages into the residue container. After it has been done, the water can then be... Since our motive is to determine the, the number or the mass of suspended particles in the water, there was a filter paper here which was already weighed. After the test was being run, the filter paper was being removed and dried then reweighed again. Now, to determine the, the number of suspended particles in the water, or mass of the sub suspended particles can be determined by subtracting the mass of the filter paper before filtration from the mass of the filter paper after filtration and dry. The, to get the mass per liter, we divide the total mass by the volume.